A roof type is the structural materials and thicknesses that make up a roof. On our screen, we have four different roof types. The one on the left-hand side, if we highlight over it and then click on the edge of the roof, we'll find underneath properties is called a basic roof, wood rafter, eight inch. And this type of roof has multiple layers of materials. If we select on the roof that's at the top of the screen, we'll find that it's a generic nine inch roof. Generic nine inch roofs only have one layer of material and the material itself is considered a generic material. Typically, roofs that are made out of a generic material are just there for initial design purposes. Once you've decided that a roof should look a certain way, you can then change it to a different roof type by coming up here to the type selector list, clicking on the type selector list, and then picking a different roof type off of the list. For this example, I'll choose a generic 18 inch. And by doing this, we should notice that the roof gets thicker. That's because it's now changed to that style or that type of roof. Now this generic 18 inch happens to be the same type of roof that's over on the right hand side. To see the properties of these roofs, select on one of the roofs, underneath properties, under this type selector list, pick edit type. Next to the word structure, there's an edit button. Click edit. And here in the edit assembly dialog box, you'll get the properties that make up this type of roof. We can see that it has a structural function, meaning that if you tried to take this roof out into structural analysis software, it would read as being a structure. The material is by category. When you see by category, this means that it's just a generic roof and it'll have a gray appearance to it typically. The thickness, it's one foot, six inches which is the same as an 18 inch thick roof. You can click on OK, then click on OK one more time to get out of this dialog box. And now let's choose the roof that we first selected on, the one on the left, which is a basic roof, wood rafter eight inch, and take a look at the different type of materials that it's made out of. So if we select on the edit type button, click edit next to the word structure, we'll now see that in the edit assembly dialog box, that this has multiple layers of material associated with the roof. Each one of these has its own function. The finished material, which is on the outside of the roof, substrate layer, and a structural member. Once again, that's the layer of material that can get exported out to your structural analysis software packages. Also, we have materials. These are the different types of materials that these roofs are made out of. And you can choose any material in your Revit project and assign that material to your Revit roof. And you could do that by selecting where it has the materials and then clicking on the button. This will open up your different materials in your material browser, where you could then select any of the materials off the list to give your roof that type of material. Now I like the plywood sheeting for this style of roof. So we'll click on OK. Oftentimes I'll use the word style and type just to indicate the same thing. Here we also have thicknesses over to the right. For thicknesses, this is the individual thicknesses of each one of these materials. So we can make any of the materials the appropriate thickness for this style or type of construction. Click on OK. This structure and edit are the typical commands that you'll use to modify the type properties of a roof. There is one other type of roof though, and if we click on OK, it's this roof over here that looks like it's made of glass. So if you select on that roof, we can see that it's sloped glazing. In fact, if we click on edit type to this, we can see that it has a completely different type of property associated with it. The sloped glazing is actually made like a curtain wall. So it's made out of individual panels and each of those panels may have their own materials. For the sloped glazing, it has a glass material associated with it. And so that you can see that it has the same properties as curtain walls, if we just scroll down, we can look up and down on our type properties to see that this is actually the same set of commands that you would find if you select edit type next to a curtain wall. I'll click on okay to this. And now finally, if I wanted to change the roof type after it's already been drawn, we can do that as well. 
So if we select on any of these existing roofs, such as the sloped glazing roof, we could then come to the type selector list, click on that, and then we'll see a listing of all the different types of roofs that are currently in our project environment. And we could choose any of these roofs off of the list. Feel free to choose any of these roofs. I'll be choosing in this example, the generic nine inch, and we'll see that our roof has now changed from being glass. And because I changed this to be generic nine inch, it has the exact same properties as the original generic nine inch roof.